Today guys, I will show you the step-by-step -step process in developing black and white films using tank method and tray method. So, let's start now. The tank method allows photographic film to be developed in a daylight environment. This is necessary because most film is panchromatic and therefore cannot be exposed to any light during processing. So the first step is pull out the film in the camera. This next step is you need to do this in the dark room to not expose the film. And then open the film using the film opener and after you get the film, cut the end part of the film. Next is you get the reel and insert the film to the reel. And here's a simple trick to make it a little bit easier. You kind of nip off the edges a little bit like that. Just kind of nip them off. So now instead of having sharp edges, now you've got edges that are slightly beveled. And you'll find that the film will go in more easily. So here we go, we bend the film a little bit. This is in complete darkness. You can't see what you're doing. Pass it through the steel ball bearings. So now we ratchet it on. And now, put the inner core into the reel, and you can now put it into the tank, and put the lid on. After this, you can now turn on the lights and develop the film. And then, mix one part of marathon film developer to one part of warm water in the container. Next step is you need to measure the temperature of the mixture to determine the time needed to the film. After you measure the time needed, and now set the proper timer for the film. And then, put the film developer solution into the tank, and then start the timer now. And agitate the tank for several times. You've agitated for 30 seconds. Then you, it was too much, you had to rest. So for 20 seconds, you put it down. And then you agitate out of the final 10 seconds, and that's the end of the first minute. And you're so exhausted after that, that you have to rest for 50 seconds now. And then you'll agitate for the last 10 seconds of the second minute. So, we'll wait now. And the next procedure is pour out the film developer from the tank. And stick it into the stop bat. Put the lid on and then agitate it for 30 seconds. The stop bat is a little mild acid that immediately stops the action of the developer. So we stop the action of the developer now. After this process, you pour out the stop bat. And now we're ready to go to the fix bat. Fill the tank in the fixed bath and for Arista film is 3 minutes and for the T-Max is 5 minutes and then put the lid on, agitate it for 30 seconds like we did before and then put it down and wait 3 to 5 minutes. Next step is pour out the fixed bath and then remove the reel from the tank and wash the film with water to remove the excess chemicals and then just put it into the film washer and wash it for 10 minutes. And now, after 10 minutes, take the film and put it into the pot of float. And this is a wetting agent that helps the film dry and to make the film no streaks or watermarks. And then sit in for 30 seconds. And now we get the film and break the reel to get the film out and remove the excess liquid. After you remove the excess from the film, hang the film in the dryer to dry the film and heat it for 20 minutes. Once the film is dry, Wipe the film with a little bit of film cleaner. And now that the film is clean, you can now cut the film and fit it into the plastic beach. So that's the step-by-step -step process in developing black and white films using tank method. And now, let's move on to the tray method. The tray method is used for large images. You will set up trays to fit your large photographic paper, and in this process, you are using the safe light in the dark room up to the final process. So the first step is, you will prepare three trays for the chemicals, and add the solutions to their respective trays. It is also better when you use different colors to easily distinguish the chemicals. And now, 
Choose your negative you want to develop. Place the negative into negative carrier. Use a paper brush to remove any dust. And then slide the carrier into the enlarger and turn on the safety lights and turn off the main light. After that, focus your image. Next step, put your photographic paper to project the image into your photographic paper and frame your image into the right size you want. You can use focus finder for optimal sharpness. And then once your photographic paper has been exposed, take your sheet into the trace of chemicals to develop your image. And now slide it quickly and smoothly into the developer for one minute and watch your image appear. And lift the image out and slide it into the stop bath for one minute. After a minute, lift the image and put it on the fixer for also one minute. After the fixer process, water rinse the image for at least five minutes. After this process, lift your image and hang it into the drying racks as the final process. And you got your image now. And that is the step-by-step -step process using the tray method. We use three types of chemicals to develop the image and then cleaning it out with water after the drying process. So, that's all for today guys. Hope you learned a lot from this video. Until next time.